Hello folks and welcome. So today's video is going to be about touchpads and uh, regular computer mice. I'm going to be talking about the scroll wheel on the computer mouse and the touchpad using one and two fingers. It's a fairly modern system. So I'm going to turn my secondary camera on so you can see this laptop. So hopefully you can see that and I'll say hello. So I have the big square touchpad. This laptop is dual boot. It has Windows 11 and it has Linux Mint on it. And it's using a 6.2 series kernel. You can certainly uh, do that um, by going to the, uh, the system updater there. I've got another video already, so hit subscribe about uh, Linux kernels. But anyways, I'm going to talk about the differences about using multiple fingers and, uh, and this mouse here. Now I have another mouse over here, you can probably see the other system in the background, and that one is a standard mouse. And a lot of these standard mice have scroll wheels on them. And they also have um, an actual switch underneath them. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the other camera off for a second, and I'm going to open up a utility called Piper. It's made for gaming mice. Anyways, I just wanted to let you see what this mouse looks like electronically. So right here is the middle button, middle click button. Okay, so um, this part here is actually a switch. And of course you can scroll, but this is an actual on and off kind of switch if you want to think about it. And uh, it's a middle button. There's also two more on the sides if I slide the, the thing from side to side, because I'm not using that currently. I, but I do use this one. On the standard mouse also it has this switch. And of course it does scroll it. But the reason I brought this utility up is just to point that out. That I'm referring to the scroll wheel with that little switch underneath the scroll wheel. So hopefully that was clear. So let me turn the camera back on. So we got a large touch surface here on this laptop. Again it's dual boot. And uh, I also uh, have the um, gestures turned on on this one. Again, like I said, I'm using a 6.2 series kernel and that allows me to do some things. And then I also have this mouse here. Again, it doesn't matter if I use this one or this one. I'm talking about the scroll wheel. And we're, I'm gonna show you some differences. You, you've been hearing me saying, possibly if you've seen any of my videos, hold on your control key while scrolling. Okay, let me turn the camera back off. So let me show you the first example. I'm going to use the regular mouse for this. So file manager. So if I were to um, scroll in and out, what am I doing here? Let me turn the camera back on. Can you see my finger here? I'm holding this down. I'm holding the, down the control key while using the scroll wheel here. I'll just lay the mouse on top. And it's resizing the icons on the fly. All right. Now I'm going to put this down because this is also active. Is I'm going to still hold down the control key, but I'm going to take two fingers and slide them back and forth. And that resizes the actual icons. Okay. So it doesn't matter if I use the regular mouse or this one. Scroll wheel and the control key. That's the key. All right, so the touchpad has several uh, things that I can do with it. So we can go over to the top line here and double tap to resize or single tap here. Using the computer mouse, double click, double click, single tap, double tap. All right, so web browser time. I may have to turn the camera off for this briefly. So I'm going to open up Firefox. And I am going to type in, um, we'll just use Google Maps. Somewhere down in there is Google Maps. And I'll open up the web page. Now, maybe you have uh, heard me say I'm going to resize the internet. In other words, the web page. So I'm going to open the camera back up. So I'm going to take my control key and I'm going to take two fingers. 
I'm going to push down and hold that while taking two fingers to do that. I'll get this to the settings in a little bit here. Now I'm going to use the same on this mouse here, holding down that control key, scrolling, does the same effect. Now the only difference is on this one here, I'm going to push straight on my straight down on my scroll wheel. Would you like me to resize that up a little bit more? How about that? It's 120%. I'm going to push straight down on this. Don't focus in on the articles. Focus in on what I'm actually doing. So I'm opening up a link, but I'm not leaving this. Okay, this is one of the benefits of using one of these guys. Now, can I achieve the same thing using the touchpad? I think I need to use three fingers on this one to, to basically open up that tab, if you can see it. Okay, and it's, again, it's very sensitive. I'm going to turn the camera back off. So, um, you can also middle click these things here. I'm going to middle click on these tabs. One, two, three, four. The touchpad, not so much. The touchpad can be very sensitive on that one. But again, um, let me show you my settings. I'm using gestures today. So normally this is off. So if uh, you, you have a device that says no device found, then it's not compatible. Or maybe you're using a kernel, a Linux kernel that is not, um, doesn't recognize your touchpad. And uh, how do you find out what kind of kernel you're using? You go to System Info. And you can check that out. Hopefully you've seen my videos. You can actually upgrade to that 6.2 kernel right now if you're using Linux Mint 21.2 Cinema. Because that's exactly what I'm using. And you can see I have no updates. Alright, so most of you folks are on the 5, I think it's the 515 series kernel. So if your touchpad doesn't work, you may want to upgrade. But I wanted to give you a demo on, on these things. I'm going to turn the camera back on. So whether you use one of these or one of these, it really doesn't matter. But your scroll wheel can be your friend. It doesn't matter if it's a gaming mouse or a regular mouse. And at the same time, if you are running a laptop, a lot of things are also different. I have extra keys down here. You may have heard me use the word start key. I'm going to show you my other keyboard on my bigger system. So right here I have a control, a function, and a start key. That one's a window symbol. What does that key do? If you press it, it opens up the mint menu. And you press it to close. You've heard me use the word alt and F4. So on my bigger system, the one that's running in the background, this is not a laptop, this is a console computer. If you're curious, the monitor is 43 inches. But the standard keyboard that I'm using on that one will actually shut down the window itself if I use Alt and F4. However, on this one, I have some pre-assigned keys at the top. Hopefully you can see this. So this laptop has these pre-assigned. So for me to use an Alt F4, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to hold the Alt and do an F4, it turns the volume up because that's the volume key. Now I can override it by hitting the function Alt and F4. Let me open up a window first. A window is just anything. Function Alt F4 closes that. Now an Alt 4 in um, Windows 11 actually closes or gives you a prompt screen for shutting down if you haven't discovered that yet, if you're your dual booter with uh, Windows 11. Because this one has Windows 11. But a lot of times you got to go function all that for to achieve those kind of things. On, um, I have also another console off to the side down there that also has Windows 11 on it. That one I can use the regular keyboard here and just use Alt and hold it down in F4. Sorry, I got too big a keyboard there. But on this one I have to use function because this is a laptop. The other one is a tower computer. Alright, just some examples. So again, you can find your settings and some other gestures in here. Some of these have different controls, but when you're looking for the pinch and zoom, which is uh, usually the favorite with a lot of folks, is uh, try this out. I think my camera is still on. 
is uh, basically hold the control key down and use two fingers to do this with. Otherwise, that doesn't work. Using this mouse, control and scroll. I have a lot more control with this one than I do with the touchpad. Just to give you an example. A lot of these things you can pick up um, pretty cheap. If you're talking about US, I've seen them as low as $8. They come with a little dongle. The, the little dongle, hold on a second. I'm going to find a spare one. The dongle looks like that. So you basically have a mouse combination. Plug it in the side or whatever port you got available and you got a regular mouse and your touchpad. And they, and they can actually coexist. So right now, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm moving the mouse cursor here. I'm also moving the mouse cursor here. Okay, so I'm gonna do Function, Alt, and F4 to close that window, and I'll wave goodbye. Thank you for watching.